Hi, we are now at the Friendship Adult Daycare Center and with me is Heidi Holly, Executive Director of the Center. How are you doing, Heidi? I'm doing well, Viviana. Thank we you. We are glad that you are here with us because I know a lot of people would like to learn more about what you do. So let's just start by explaining to our, our viewers what is the mission of the Friendship Adult okay. Daycare okay. Center. Well, the mission of the Friendship Center is to preserve and enrich the quality of life for dependent and aging adults and to provide a program, a variety of programs that are innovative, creative, so that we can maintain quality of life with dignity. But what's important, too, is that we provide caregivers respite so that they can continue with their commitments and their lives. Good. When was it first founded? We were founded in 1976 by a group of people in the community who saw a need for adult day services. Excellent. Right. Now let's talk more about your programs and classes, okay. starting with those that involve physical activities. What do you offer to your members? For physical activities, we have a walking club, and so we go on a variety of different walks. We also have uh, an adventuresome aging program for our early memory deficit individuals, so they go out into the community and they may go to the mission. We also have, you know, sitter size, so you can sit in your seat and get some exercise. So the goal is really to maintain that physical activity for our members and the socialization as well. Great, I like yeah. that. Now, uh, let's talk about some of the seminars that you give here. And mm -hmm. I know you have a specific one about Alzheimer. Right. Can you tell me more about that one? Well, we often have educational programs, and the goal really is to educate the community about Alzheimer's disease or memory impairment and deficits that somebody might have uh, due to memory impairment as well as strokes so that they know how they can uh, best help out their loved ones and their family members. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, how is just a regular day here at the center? Oh, I'm glad you asked, because I, I love to toot our horn about <laughs> what happens a day in the life of Friendship Center. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. And so family members and caregivers can bring their family member or loved one to the program as early as 8 in the morning and our vehicles go out around 8 a.m. and they start picking up our members because the individuals who attend our program typically can't use public transportation. So when they bring them to the Friendship Center, they also have the light breakfast, and then around 10.30, our program um, happens. Mm -hmm. And so when you walk in the door at the Friendship Center, you'll see what I call the buzz, which mm -hmm. is lots of things happening because we want our members feel that they can choose which activity they want to go to. So we have music classes where, for example, we have adult ed through City College. Omega instructors come in and lead those programs. We also have a gardening program, which is very therapeutic for our members to work in the soil as well as to arrange flowers. So we have gardening. We also have lively chat groups where there's a lot of laughter and support for, for each of the members led by our compassionate staff. And in addition to that, we also have arts and crafts, exercise, but really the goal of our activities that we provide is that we can continue having our members be engaged in the community and with their peers so that they have socialization, which I think is really important with the dependent and aging adults. Exactly. So those are the activities. And then do you have like a lunch? Noontime we have a lunch. And the lunch program uh, consists of a very nutritious lunch. And on days where it's warm and sunny, you'll see our members sitting out in our beautiful courtyard and also in our dining room as well. And after the lunch, we also have a, another program, other program activities that take place. Again, it might be light exercise, music, bingo. And one of our passion programs is our goal project which is an intergenerational program which is about diminishing ageism. Our members go into public schools to talk about growing old with children. And it's great to see the reciprocity between the, the children and our members. I would like to learn more about your staff here mm -hmm. at the Friendship Adult Daycare Center because, mm -hmm. you know, with dependent adults you might need a lot of help. So tell me, how does that work? Well, we have, I would say, currently about 15 staff. Mm -hmm. 
and our staff are very compassionate and dedicated and they work with our members uh, so that they can assist them during the day and supervise them as well as attend to some of those daily activities. We have a nurse on staff so if someone is having difficulty remembering their medication we do have a nurse who oversees the uh, administering of the medication and we also have uh, support groups for family members. So Heidi, who can become a member? If Individuals in our community are interested in a family member attending or a friend. They would call Friendship Center at 969-0859 and they could set up a time to come and visit our program. And we encourage them to come and visit our program. Bring the person who might be interested in the program so they can see you know, the activities that we provide. Are there any fees involved? You know, we really want people to utilize our services, so we make our program affordable for people who want to attend. So we work with family members and caregivers to come up with a, an amount, a fee, that would be amenable to both parties. Well, thank you, Heidi, for all that information. I know your services are really valuable for many families here in Santa Barbara, so I wish the best for you and all your staff here at the Friendship Adult Daycare Center. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.